wanted to share a, another video of something I was shown after I created a video. So you know, the value of creating these videos is I get to bring you guys some, some good stuff and every now and then you guys teach me some stuff. So this is really cool. Um, I didn't know about it. I had heard about the capabilities of linking in Thinkorswim but I never really explored it. Um, so recently I've done a series on my scan criteria, different ways I set up some scan criteria. Uh, so for example here we're looking at high IV percentile plus high IV. Uh, so basically I've, I've just gone here, gone to personal and selected you know the, the high IVP, high IV and it preloaded this list of names here and before what I was doing is I was going through here and I was you know, typing in the ticker, oops sorry, I was typing in the tickers individually and it was uh, you know, not not the most time efficient process. What you can do now, or what I've been shown that I can do now, via this link capabilities, I can just click on this chart and I can tap the down arrow on my keyboard, and it'll quickly roll through all these tickers and pull up the charts. So I can use it on this page, or say for example, I want to find quickly uh, only names that have may options that are fairly liquid so maybe I'll slim it down to four strikes over here and I'll go down the list I'll click back over here and I'll I'll roll down and it's gonna populate the options chain and it's gonna show me the bid and ask on the um, you know on the individual underlines it's going a little slow right now I guess my computer's bogged down or my internet connections a little quirky at the moment but <clears throat> as you can see here you can quickly take a glance at the bid-ask spread and see it's about 40 cents so that's not really something I'd be interested in you know, another thing you can do another thing I personally do is I'll just kinda of roll down this list real fast and I'll click individual names that I'm somewhat familiar with and see if their options are uh, gonna be liquid enough to, to trade at the moment and you know, the first thing I'm gonna look at of course is the bid-ask spread on the closest to the money so in a applied materials case 20.79 is the current price of the stock, which means closest to the money is going to be 21. As you can see, the bid on the put is $1.4, the ask is $1.5. So we've got a penny wide bid ask spread. That's definitely tight enough. I'll go over here and look at the volume, 490. That's pretty solid. The only thing that's lacking is open interest here, 84. Can't always count on these two numbers, though. Uh, they're not always accurate. Bid ask spread is definitely what I put the most weight on as far as what you know options liquidity goes. So, you know, that's the way I go about doing things. Uh, so the way you can do the whole linking process is you simply go here and it's going to it's going there's going to be an icon that looks like this. It's just going to be a red, yellow, blue icon. You go here, you click on it, you choose the color that you want to use as your link color. And in my case, I chose ticker tank orange. So I click on orange. And then you go to all your different tabs here, for example, trade tab, and you change this. Again, it's going to be this red, yellow, blue unlink button. Uh, you change that to match the orange color. You can go over here to your analyze tab, and you can put it on your risk profile. You can put it here. So I've got this link. Uh, over here in charts, there's a link opportunity. And there's a few other places where there's these link opportunities. So essentially, as you can see, as I've been rolling through here, the charts tab already has AMAT pulled up. The analyze tab already had AMAT pulled up. The trade tab already has AMAT pulled up. And so, for example, if we click price line, we've got it linked up. So it's going to immediately pull up price line in the trade tab. It's going to pull up all the data. If I go over here to analyze, it's going to pull up price line in the analyze tabs, showing all the different short strangles I've looked at here recently. And then if we go over here to the charts tab, it's going to have price line auto populated in the charts area doesn't get much more efficient than that it's a beautiful thing definitely definitely recommend uh, starting to use that immediately if you aren't already using it and thank you for all the people that left comments on the YouTube videos alerting me to how to go about doing this appreciate it very much take care signing out